So there is actually a reason why you want to be consuming a quote unquote balanced diet, but it's really not for the reasons that people typically think of it for. You know, most people think you need to basically be eating, you know, half plants or half animal foods because quote unquote, the plant foods are healthy and the animal foods um, are just more so for just nutrients. But really, I believe that most people should be consuming an animal based diet with some low oxalate fruits and vegetables um, to balance the acid load of the animal foods. But for also some reasons too that carbohydrates have uh, some benefits as well. And I'll cover those in a second. So, but the, the real reason why you want to have a balanced diet is because certain foods provide certain nutrients, whereas other foods provide nutrients that are typically less in those all other foods. So for example, Consuming red meat is going to give you vitamin B12. It's going to give you bioavailable iron. It will give you zinc. It will give you bioavailable protein and also creatine and carnitine and choline. So red meat is good for those nutrients. But you also want to be consuming pasture-raised eggs because eggs are going to provide you vitamin K2 and selenium and vitamin B2 and vitamin D. So in vitamin A. So you're getting nutrients and you're balancing the nutrients better when you eat eggs and meat, not just red meat. So that's, that's one of the reasons why you want to be consuming eggs and red meat is because eggs are giving you the nutrients that aren't in meat or that are low in meat. Like I had just said, K2, um, vitamin D, selenium, and selenium isn't low in meat, but it's just going to be higher in eggs. And we, and we also talked about vitamin A as well and vitamin D. So that's why. And then you want to also add dairy to those two food groups because dairy is going to help give you calcium and vitamin D. And so you're not really going to get calcium from eggs unless you clean the shells well, grind them up very well. And then yes, the egg shells can provide some calcium. But how bioavailable that calcium is compared to calcium in dairy, questionable. So that's why I also consume grass-fed dairy to get more calcium because if you just consume meat, you the studies show that just consuming meat will lead to negative calcium balance because you're only going to be getting about maybe 100 milligrams of calcium on an all-meat diet, consuming like a pound and a half to two pounds of red meat. We need more than 100 milligrams of calcium to remain in calcium balance, especially consuming a high acid low diet, which is going to cause you to lose more calcium out in the urine. So then I like to also add low oxalate fruits and vegetables. And the reason it should be low oxalate is because oxalate prevents the release of the potassium salts, which helps bring alkalinity to the body. The potassium and the citrate help bring alkalinity to the body um, because of the potassium citrate. And so you're consuming a strong cation without a strong anion, plus you are also liberating uh, citrate into bicarbonate in the liver, which is bringing alkalinity. So that's why I also consume basically organic nectarines or peaches with my animal foods to help offset the acid load, but to also give me a increase in insulin too. And the spike in insulin is going to be different than a spike in insulin from protein to help conserve electrolytes like sodium and potassium because the acid load from meat is going to actually has been shown to increase salt loss. So even though you get a spike in insulin from protein or animal protein, it's not going to have the same salt conserving effects as consuming carbohydrates. I also always feel better consuming some carbohydrates on my animal based diet. Gives me more energy. Um, my workouts are better. Even my cognition feels better. So I feel like I have more mental capacity when it, when I consume more carbohydrates as well. Then you can also think about things as well, where are you going to get copper from? So then you start to pick things like maybe a little bit of liver or avocado or shellfish, like um, things like crab and lobster have copper in it as well. So that's why you want to have a quote unquote balanced diet, because you're trying to select foods to give you an optimal intake of all nutrients. And you're not going to get an optimal intake just eating meat and the associated fat. You're not going to get optimal nutrients just doing that. So also, you know, vitamin C as well from, like I said, I, I consume nectarines and peaches, but I also do consume some 100% freshly squeezed orange juice, like a little bit throughout the day. So maybe like two to four ounces, two to three times a day. 
and that helps with my workouts. That gives me more vitamin C. And there's also very strong antioxidants that have been shown to reduce oxidative stress um, after eating certain foods, um, freshly squeezed orange juice. So offsetting the acid load is why you want to have some low oxalate fruits and vegetables with animal foods, balancing all the nutrients. And also I do believe that having some carbohydrate is better than having none.